Hi everyone, this is Swamp Rabbit, and I am doing a walkthrough guide today for the Magic Water Odyssey. This is the medium level version of it, which is very similar to the hard level. The hard level just starts on round four instead of round three, which round four is a really difficult round to start on. It's really hard not to miss balloons, but round three, we should have no trouble. Uh, this crew consists of Oban, five wizards, one super monkey, two ninjas, four alchemists, and eight druids. I just filled up all 20 seats. I don't think there's any way we can possibly use all of these monkeys. Okay, for this map, I am going to begin actually with a druid. I'm going to place it right here. I want to place it on strong, and I want to give it druid reach. This enables it to, you know, see basically three different times you can, um, three different chances to hit the targets. Okay, I do run this on slow when I'm doing just a druid defense. If you've watched my other videos, you'll you'll know that that's pretty typical for me uh, because the druid hits more balloons when the, they're moving slowly than when you speed it up. As soon as I have the, the funds, I'm going to upgrade this to Thorn Swarm. Gonna speed that up a little bit. Okay, I'm gonna add a second druid by this one, and I'll upgrade the same way. Zero one one. Next, I'm going to add a ninja, and I'll add it right here. I want to upgrade my ninja to 201 at this point. Next, I want to go ahead and add Oban to this mixture. Okay, next, I'd like to go ahead and add an Alchemist here at the very start. And what I want to do with this is give myself some extra money. Put it on strong. I 
am using Open's Briar Patch every time it's available. It just gives a little extra defense that maybe you'll need, maybe you won't. Hopefully you won't need it, but then if you do, you've got it available. And the next thing I want to do is um, give this alchemist rubber to gold. And then I want to give it larger potions. Now I'm going to go ahead and upgrade my ninja further. I'll upgrade it to double shots. And then Bloon Jitsu. And I'll go ahead and throw in Cow Chops. I want to use a second Alchemist on the Ninja. And so I want to upgrade that to Berserker Brew with faster throwing. and then I'll give it stronger stimulant. Okay, the next thing I need to do is add a wizard near the front and I need to turn it into a shimmer wizard so that it helps reveal camo to open and to the druids. I'll go ahead and add a fireball and a firewall. I'm going to add a second Shimmer Wizard. It's a good place to put it. Put it about here. Also, I'll give it a firewall as well. Put a third wizard. More in Oban's range. <laughs> Again, it's going to be a Shimmer Wizard. But I'll give it the Firewall just for that extra defense. I want to add another Alchemist near the very start. And I want to turn it into a rubber to gold alchemist as well. I'll give it larger potions. And then rubber to gold. I want to add some more druids. them to zero two four shoot they don't all need to be zero two four just uh, you want one or two to convert the regrows into regular balloons but then the rest of them can just be zero one fours
Next, I'm going to add a sticky bomb ninja. I do want it in range of my open, so I'll put it right here. And I'll upgrade it to 204. Okay, open's tree is available, so I want to set that here. You know, as far down the track as possible, so you give your defense as much. You don't want to rely on your open street. You want it as like a backup. And then I'll upgrade to the Sticky Bomb Ninja. Next, I'll add a Super Monkey. On it right here. I believe that's going to be, yes, that's still in open range. So it's getting that magical buff. I'm gonna upgrade it to super and then epic range. Now give it knockback and ultra vision. And then I want to upgrade it to Dark Knight. Next, I'm going to add an Alchemist near that Dark Knight, and I want to upgrade it. To druids here. I'll give them pop lust. So it'll be a 0-1-4. See that one's only got a buff of 3. So it's not in the perfect position. This one's going to have the buff of 5. That's good. Okay, so they'll have four or five times buff. That's pretty good. You know, ideally we would have them all having a five times buff, but I've put them kind of in an awkward position here. Okay, what I'm going to do next is add a wizard over here. And I'm going to turn it into a necromancer with the firewall. So I'll make another necromancer over here.
I've got more money left, so I will add some more monkeys. I'll add a druid of the jungle. And I'll give it Heart of Thunder. And then I'll add another Druid of the Jungle with Heart of Thunder. And I'll upgrade one to Jungle's Bounty. I can upgrade that one to Jungle's Bounty as well. And there is Island 1 complete. Now on to Lotus Island. Okay, that worked out. Okay, next I'll go ahead and pair that with uh, my first druid. I want to give this druid a uh, druid reach and then thorn swarm and I do want to use Oban's briar patch every time it's available. Next I want to start making extra money so I want to add an alchemist at the beginning of this map. And I want to upgrade it along the bottom path. And I'll put that on strong as well. I am just uh, using Oban's Briar Patch ability every time it's available. I want to switch it to lead to gold on my alchemist. I'll give it larger potions as well. Okay, now I'm going to hold off on rounds 21, 22, and 23. I'm not going to use Open's Briar Patch because I'm actually... Let's see, I'm going to go ahead and add another Druid here. But I do want to hold off using the... Um, Briar patch until round 24. Okay, and I'll go ahead and throw that down so to catch this one camo in this round.
Okay, now I want to upgrade the Alchemist Rubber to Gold. And I want to place a Druid on this little, a Druid, a Ninja, on this little island here. I want to upgrade it to uh, 201. And then 202. Go ahead and upgrade this ninja all the way to Bloom Jitsu. And then I'll add an alchemist. I'll upgrade it to stronger stimulant and then faster throw or faster throwing and then stronger stimulant. So it'll be a four zero one ninja. Actually, I'll go ahead and make it a 402 ninja. The next thing I want to do is add a wizard here at the entrance. And this wizard, I am going to give it shimmer, make it a shimmer wizard. I also want to add guided magic so I can see through this tree thing here. Shimmer Wizard. I'll give it Guided Magic as well. And I want to add a second Alchemist that's turning rubber into gold. And I'll go ahead and add that third alchemist. My goal when I use these is always to have every single balloon giving us extra cash because it's been hit by one of the alchemists. place a wizard behind open. This one I'm going to go ahead and turn into a necromancer. And I'll give it the guided magic to see through the tree with the arcane blast. So I'll place a super monkey by my open. Uh, this one I'm going to turn it into a robo and then I'll give it camo ability. So 032.
before it opens, crack it. I want to set it on this back track, you know, as, lo as far down the path as possible so that the defenders have every opportunity to um, pop the balloons before it gets there. Nineteen thousand. I want to upgrade to attack terror, and I am just leaving my my targeting the default, the last first. I'll go ahead and upgrade these druids both to pop lust. And I'll give one of them Heart of Oak. On this little tiny island right here, I'm going to not really do anything <laughs> because I'm out of time. So on to the next map. I want to start this map with open so I'm going to start him about here I want to leave enough room for the magic monkeys to surround him so I'm trying to find a good location for him where he can make it through the first two rounds with no losses but then there's also you know there also be room around him for the magic monkeys so they can get his buff Okay, so this is a good location. I'll just highlight him so you can see exactly where he's placed. Okay, the next thing I want to do is place a druid right by open so he can get that, that buff from open right away. I'll upgrade it, Thorn Swarm, and then Druid Reach. And I'll go ahead and use Open's Briar Patch every every time it's available. The next thing I want to do is start earning some extra money. So I'm going to add one of the alchemists at the beginning of the track. I'll hide him in the tree there. For this alchemist, I'll just put this first one on strong. I want to make sure that it that it um, turns the lead to gold. I'll start just the bottom path, the faster throwing, all the way up to lead to gold. After I have, I want it led to gold. I'm actually.
actually going to place a ninja next. Let me check Open's range. Okay, I want to make sure that it's in Open's range, so that's why I highlight Open's range. And then I'm going to put it right here. I just want it to have Open's buff uh, whenever Open is upgraded high enough to give all the Magic Monkeys buffs. I want to upgrade this ninja to 202. give this alchemist larger potion And then I want to switch it to rubber to gold, or upgrade it to rubber to gold. Okay, next, I'm going to add some more druids. Uh, zero one one on their upgrades. And then I want to turn my ninja into a sticky bomb ninja. So I've got a total of six druids now, and I'll go ahead and upgrade those to Druid of Wrath. Okay, uh, before I upgrade all of those though, I need to add a Shimmer Wizard to help expose the camo to the druids and to Oven. So I'm actually gonna add a couple of Shimmer Wizards. need to adjust my screen settings it's so hard for me to see <laughs> where they even fit here the difference between the ground and the path okay now that I've got a couple of shimmer wizards I'll continue upgrading to druids of wrath on these druids Then I'm going to add another alchemist. Larger potions. I'll go ahead and give this one acidic mixture as well to throw onto the wizards. 
and then I'll upgrade it lead to gold and then rubber to gold and I'll put it on strong Now I'm going to upgrade each of these druids to pop lust. These druids only have four time buff, uh, but four of them have five time buff. So we'll uh, that'll that'll work fine. <laughs> okay, I want to add my super monkey. Let's see if I can find a place that he fits. I don't think that's in opens range. No, it's not. So since I don't have opens range, uh, opens buff on him, I won't be able to get that. I will just find a different place for him completely. And he's too fat to fit there. He's too fat to fit anywhere. I'll go ahead and place the super monkey here. And I'll upgrade it to 302 or 032. I'm just randomly saying numbers. 032 is where he'll upgrade to. I'll place Oven's tree as far down the path as possible. And on we go to Spice Island. Okay, uh, this is the lower medium level price point again. So we are able to start with our open. I'm going to place him on the bottom of this center circle. He's got a good track coverage there. Here, and I'm going to go ahead and give it the camo ability. And then I want to go ahead and give it shimmer after that.
I'm gonna need something else before <laughs> before I can upgrade to Shimmer. So I'll add a Ninja. I'll upgrade it to 201. So I'll go ahead and give it Caltrop since right now it's my last monkey. And now I'll upgrade to a Shimmer Wizard. And I am going to give this Shimmer Wizard a Wall of Fire. With this ninja, I'll go ahead and upgrade this one to a Bloom Jutsu. I'll upgrade the ninja to Bloom Jutsu and then I'm going to add an alchemist onto this ninja. Upgrade it to Berserker and a stronger acid perishing potion. And then I'll give it stronger stimulant. The next thing I want to do is add a super monkey next to my open. So as close to open as possible and also as close to the edge of the island as possible. That way I can fit more things onto this tiny little island. I want to go ahead and upgrade the range to epic range. And then I want to give it knockback, and then I want to give it the camo ability as well.
and then I'll upgrade to a dark knight on my super monkey. Next thing I want to do is add a sticky bomb ninja at the very start, so I want it as close to the edge as I can. So it'll be a 204 upgrade on this ninja. Put an alchemist right in the middle of this group. If it's not too fat to fit. Okay. So right there. I'll upgrade it to 402. Okay. Do you want to set Oban's tree as far back on the track as possible? a druid. I don't think I can place it on this island, but I just have to try anyway. So what I'm going to do with it, I'll throw it back on this end island, and I'm going to upgrade it to druid of the jungle. Then I'll go ahead and give it heart of thunder as well. And that's what I'm going to keep doing with these druids. I'm going to give them druid of the jungle. Heart Thorns and Heart of Thunder. I think I can fit one right on this island, so I'll do that. I do you actually want to place a wizard, another wizard? So I've got three druids, and then I'm placing another wizard. I want another shimmer wizard. And I'll go ahead and give it wall of fire too. After 63, I'm going to refresh the tree on open because I saw some balloons on 63 run into it. So I'm going to make sure and open that up. I'll place some more druids on this little island back here. Druid of the jungles with hard thorns. All these monkeys are so fat today. Okay, I'm going to need to go ahead and clear this this island. I was hoping I wouldn't have to spend the money to do that, but unfortunately I do. So I'm going to take and put a wizard right on this section. I want to upgrade this wizard first to see camo, and then I want to upgrade it to summon phoenix.
think I'm going to continue batting uh, due to the jungles with Heart of Thunder. Okay, after 76, I will refresh my open tree. As soon as this tree is off cooldown, I'm going to refresh it again. Oh, we didn't have anything in it, but refresh it anyway. And that, because that'll be between the first and second rounds of ceramics on 78. So that way you've got to definitely have a fresh tree before the second wave on 78. Let's see, over here, I'm going to go ahead and do another wizard. Dragon's Breath and then Summon Phoenix. Well, if there's enough money to Summon Phoenix. Okay. And I'll throw an Alchemist on here. Can't really upgrade it too much. Okay, for round 80, I'm going to go ahead and use both my Summon Phoenixes. And that is how we finish the medium odyssey of magic water. If you have any questions about any of the maps, just let me know. Just specify which map so I know which um, specifically what you're asking. And uh, as always, thanks for watching.